Hello and welcome to the latest Fellside Midweek Reflection. On Sunday afternoon, Deborah posted on the Fellside WhatsApp some photos of the churchyard at Billsborough, all the flowers in bloom, and um, said uh, in that post what a great job the gardeners had been doing during lockdown. And it seemed to me, anyway, that uh, the responses that came in, uh, there was quite a few actually, and uh, people seemed to uh, respond to that post more than um, some that had been put on lately. And I guess the reason for that was the photos of these lovely flowers um, just lifted people's spirits really, especially as news had just come of uh, lockdown in Preston for certain areas and so on. So I guess that uh, that post arrived just at the right time on the WhatsApp to lift people's spirits somewhat. So uh, I guess in this reflection, you're ready for a story that will hopefully make you smile. And I think I've got just the right story for us. But of course, there will be a sting in the tail, as always. But before that, a Bible reading for us. And this is part of a reading from Matthew's Gospel that uh, we can choose if we want to, to uh, read part of this at uh, this Sunday's coming services. And it's Jesus talking in Matthew chapter 15 and beginning at verse 10 about the things that defile. Matthew 15 from verse 10. Then Jesus called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offence when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, explain this parable to us. Then he said, are you still without understanding? Do do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sewer. But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart comes evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defiles a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. And two young men get a job with a building company. And this building company has been commissioned to build a multi-storey office building. So at lunch on the first day, they sit themselves on an iron girder high above the ground and open their lunch boxes. I can't believe it, shouts Joe. Cheese and pickle sandwiches. I don't like cheese and pickle sandwiches. And with that, he gets the sandwiches, crumples them in his hands, and throws them to the ground, many feet below. And lunch on the second day was a repeat of the first. Joe becomes visibly upset when he opens his sandwiches in his lunchbox. Once again, He crushes them up in his hands and throws the sandwiches 17 storeys below to the ground. And Joe's new new workmate begins to dread lunch on the following day. And sure enough, rather than enjoying a well-deserved rest, he's stuck with listening to his new workmate complain. And day after day after day, He silently watches Joe sort through his lunch, shout abuse over the offending sandwiches 
and then send them hurtling to the ground. I've had it with cheese and pickles, screamed Joe once again, angrily smashing his sandwiches in his hands. He thrust them to the ground below. And unable to restrain himself any longer, Joe's workmate blurts out, Luke, if you don't like cheese and onion sandwiches, then tell your wife not to make them anymore. Now just hang on a minute, snaps Joe. Don't bring my missus into this. I make my own sandwiches. Well, sometimes we complain about the way things are where we have nobody to blame but ourselves. We are not mere victims of circumstance. We have the power to control what happens to us. But we need to do more than we need to do more than complain. We need to take action. And of course that's the point of the story. The man is quite capable of sorting out that problem for himself. And yet, how often are we like that man in the story? We blame another person, our husband, our wife, our parents, our sister, our brother, the people at work. And sometimes we blame the devil. And of course, scripture makes clear that he is very, very real. And yet, sometimes we make his job so very, very easy. Because just like the man in the story, we have a chance to end what upsets us. And sometimes it's easier to blame someone else than to take, um, well, just to take responsibility for our own actions. It's so easy to blame someone else. So easy to blame a certain situation instead of doing something about it. The point of the story, the man and his sandwiches, is what it, it would have been so easy to change what his problem was. And a reminder of a verse from that reading. Matthew 15 and verse 18. But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and it's this, what defiles. And so, the next time we attempted to pass on that little snippet of information without having the facts confirmed, could indeed, if we pass that on, slander another person. We do have the choice to bite our tongue and count to ten before the angry words come out. We do have the power to turn the other cheek. We do have the power over so many things. But sometimes it is easier to blame someone else. Sometimes it's easier to complain, to blame others and just to be comfortable in those things that concern us. Day after day after day, the man in the story had it in his power to change the situation he was in, and he chose not to do anything about it. But sometimes we need to do more than complain. We need to take action also. So hopefully a story that made you smile in these days of extra lockdowns, restrictions and the like, at uh, least for some of us, depending on uh, what postcode area we live in, I suppose. But also a story with a sting in the tail, a one that is indeed very, very challenging. And as I say, that uh, reading is part of one that uh, we can use this coming Sunday the story continues with the faith of the Canaanite woman and uh, perhaps on Sunday we'll be looking at that also. So for now, 
bye for now until the next time